Okay, what's up guys, DZ here. I just got back from a box tournament for Secret Forces, which I unfortunately did not end up winning. Um, my matchups in the first five rounds of Swiss were four Necros and one Clifford, and my top eight match was against Necros, and I ended up losing 2-1. And it was against the same guy that actually, that was my loss in Swiss. Like, that was kind of stupid. Um, I don't know, I made a pretty bad misplay. But anyway, this is going to be a pretty in-depth deck profile, at least on some of my card choices. I was really just want to test against Necros for Garden City. So I guess it's a good thing that I faced, like, five fucking Necros. But, like, the deck is interesting. Like, it's not as good as Dragon Lords by any sense of the word. But it plays a lot like it, and it has similar counters. But, I don't know, it's... It's in it's interesting. So anyway, uh, we're playing three rocket. I don't think that's like uh, crazy or anything. We're playing three shell, uh, three scatter shot, three firestorm guards, and then I played one mermelo. Basically, someone messaged me on Facebook, um, and I don't remember your your name. Sorry if you're watching this video. Uh, he was talking about like what he was playing in volcanics, and like he was mentioning that if you're going first, like if your opponent forces you to go first. Or even if you're if it's your first turn. You don't really have any good normal summons first turn, except for your three copies of Rocket. So like you're not gonna normal summon Firestorm Guards first turn unless your hand is like really shitty. Um and we're not main decking hands because it's really bad against Necros. So like the only good normal summons are Rocket. So like he was like, Well you can just play like a couple Mermelos and trap holes. It's a plus one, it gives you another monster, like and it seemed perfect. And actually, I do have to say this was like the best idea ever. This guy was really good. Every time I saw him, except like one time when I opened like all monsters, he was really good. Plus one's relevant, especially when you're like, like the whole point of this deck is to survive past turn three. Like every single game with this deck is decided before turn three. Like if I live that long, I definitely win. And if I like am down to like two cards by turn three, I'm definitely out of it. But like every, every game that I got past turn three with more than like three cards, I just won immediately. Cause by then your engines are going... Um, and you ha you're you drawing, like, eight cards at, like, a time, like, I don't know, it's just crazy. And I, I really like this deck because of those turns, like, honestly, I think once a match, I had ten cards in my hand, and that is just, like, those are the games you just feel invincible. You're, like, you, like, go Reload, and then you go Firestorm Guards, and you go Duality, and then you go Reckless, and then you go Magic Planter, and then, like, maybe a second Reckless Greed because you're a sack, like, whatever. Like, those turns... Are like magical like you just have you your hand is just like all fucking floodgates it's crazy it's amazing uh anyway played three duality because consistency is pretty cool uh two planter i might cut this to not cut it i might add a third because uh i played two in mst and i don't think this is good obviously like i'm not gonna think it's good because i played five necros but like uh like if i'm playing two of these i'm already kind of like sacrificing my cliff art matchups like i might as well just completely just accept that I'm going to lose every game one to Cliff Forts. Um, although, actually, like, I still beat the Cliff Fort guy, and I didn't even draw these. So, uh, but anyway, uh, I want to play another Magic Planter, because Magic Planter is a card that I, like, always want to see with Reload. Like, it has so many different applications. Um, and oftentimes, I find myself against Necros, just MST my own Planter, just so I can banish it for Scattershot, which seems kind of bad. It is kind of bad, and it would have been better if it was Magic Planter, but... So I don't think I'm going to main deck this at Garden City is the point of that. Play one Snatch Deal, which is pretty good, because, like, you don't really have any good ways to put rank 4s on board. Uh, or put level 4s on board for rank 4s. Usually you just have one guy, and then he gets run over. Uh, so Snatch Deal helps grab a level 4. Uh, play one Wildfire. This card makes hands miss timing, so that's pretty cool. And is, uh... Like, no one sees this card coming. Like, literally, like, okay, a lot of people fucking know what Shell does. A couple people know what Rocket does. A lot of people know what now know what Scattershot does because that guy topped with it. But literally, no one knows what Wildfire does. So like, they'll push through all of your cards. You'll like Scattershot the field, and then they'll be like, "Ha!" And then they'll make another field, and then you just Wildfire, and then at that point they just lose because they don't see this card coming. Um, for our traps, we played three Reload, three uh, Emptiness, uh, three Reckless, which you have to be careful with. Uh, two Fiendish, two Iron Wall. And on Fiendish, like, it got MST'd so much. Like, honestly, it was just annoying. Like, I might consider playing one Breakthrough Skill. Not over a second Fiendish, but, like, just as another card, maybe for one of the MSTs I'm going to drop. But, like, damn, these got MST'd so much. Like, uh, I just sucked. But 
I mean, Phoenix is necessary. Like, you have to play it. It's good with Magic Planner occasionally, but holy shit, does it get MST'd all the time. Um, I played two Mind Crush. I really like this card. Um, I don't think I'll play three. Like, I didn't really have the room for it. I didn't want to go above 41. Like, there was, like, three cards that I, w I considered playing to make this go over 41, but I wanted to keep it at 40, so whatever. Uh, for the Trap Holes, I played a Bottomless and a Time Space. Time Space was okay. Bottomless was pretty good against Cliff Horts. Um... Obviously, against Necroz, I want Void Trap Hole, like, all the time, which I'm siding, and I would just swap it out for the Bottomless, because it's, like, way better. Um, especially because you can't Bottomless and Iron Wall is up, so, like, that's a problem. Um, and then I play One Mirror Force, because, like, <laughs> like, I'm the type of guy that always, like, jokingly tells people I have Mirror Force set, and then they attack into it. I'm just like, okay, I, I wasn't kidding. I'd play this shitty card. But it's it's pretty good right now. Necroz don't really, like, have an out to it, except, like, Gungnir, which they never search, so, like... Usually you're getting a board wipe for free. Like we're in a format where destruction is actually good again, so that's kind of cool. Um, for the extra deck, uh, like I'm just playing a bunch of generic crap. Uh, didn't I made Exton once? Didn't make any of this crap. I made this guy three or four times. I think I made Chain once, and then I didn't make any of this crap. But if you want to play it, like it's really hard to put level fours on board. Like I don't know. Most of the time, I'd just rather sit on like, a, a Rocket or a Firestorm Guards, because they're safer, they can't get Brioed, it's just kink and negated by Unicorn, Colossal Loss, like, I don't know. I just like sitting on them. Side deck, we played, uh, three of each hand, um, I played in a Locals last weekend, and I really wanted the extra copies of hands, so I bumped up to six. Most of the time, I only sided five, uh, usually... Three ice hand, two fire hand, because you can recycle the fire hands with uh, firestorm guards. But uh, I don't know. Like these are so good against rogue, and they're so good against cliff Wards. Like these are auto win against cliff Wards. Like you can even open like three of them, and like you'll still win against cliff Wards because they just cannot deal with these. It is hilarious, and like your only way of dealing with it is by like no getting like a big normal summon guy out, but like scatter shot make sure that make sure that never happens. So like they just never get over these. It's it's really funny. Like watching Clifford players squirm under hands is hilarious. Um played these which I obviously never cited. Played these which I ever, obviously never cited. Uh then I played five one ofs. I played an MST which I never really cited into. Like against Clifford's the hands are just better than MST. Like I guess I'll just be side decking in three MST now, but like I don't know what I'll slide them in for because like the hands are just better against, like, everything, like, all the time. Like, I don't know. The hands are crazy, again, which is, like, I don't know. They haven't been good for, like, seven months now, and now they're, like, the best cards ever. Uh, anyway, we played one Thunder King, which is okay. Um, these last four cards are just for Necroz. So Thunder King, uh, Iron Wall, Mind Crush, and Void Trap Pull. Basically, I thought my main deck was really strong against Necroz. So, like, these are the four cards outside against Necroz. Um... I tried to win every game. I think I did win every game one against the Necroz, except the I got like two owed by the guy that I lost top eight in. But in our Swiss match, I got two owed by him, so I didn't get a chance to do this. But anyway, uh, I want to win game one against Necroz with the Iron Walls, basically, because like Iron Wall when they don't have the hands and Twister side, it is just like absolutely unfair. They can't do anything under this card. So like going into game two, they're gonna make me go first, uh, and if I'm going first, I want Thunder King. Iron Wall and Void Chapel, because I think these cards are really good going first. Um, and then if I win the next one, or if I lose the next one, so we actually go to game three, uh, I swap out the Thunder King for a Mind Crush. Because um, Thunder King isn't very good if they've already gotten all their searches. Basically, what they do first turn is make it so that they don't have to search on their second turn and they can just push through stuff so that like you don't get fucked over by Thunder King or whatever, or Mind Crush or Mistake or whatever they're citing. So, like, these cards are better going second. I like Mind Crush because, like, Mind Crush isn't even for the searching. It's for when they fucking kaleidoscope and you just Mind Crush the Unicorn and then they have to kaleidoscope for Brio, and that's hilarious. And, like, they can't kaleidoscope for Trish unless they use, like, uh, they can use, they can send, like, a level 12 to summon Trish and Collage Loss, but that's, like, the worst play ever. Like, you just force them to make really awkward plays with this. Void Trap Hole was ridiculous every time I dropped it. Like, it, this is the best trap hole against Necroz because it negates the monster. Like, unfortunately, it doesn't shuffle it back, so, like, they can recycle it from the grave. But, like, this is, like, the anti-Trish, and that is really cool. Um, and then Iron Wall is obviously really good 
Like, if you don't have Void Trap Hole or Phoenix Chains and shit. But there were, like, <laughs> there were multiple times, I think three times when I mine crushed, and, like, their hand was, like, three pieces of back row destruction, and I was like, well, fuck that. And it was, like, kind of bittersweet, because on one hand, it's like, okay, none of the side deck shit I put up is going to survive. So, like, even though I have, like, five back row, like, three of them are not going to resolve, so that kind of sucks. But on the other hand... That's three pieces of not combo pieces they have. So, like, I won all those games, but it was just really disheartening looking in their hand and seeing, like, Double Twister MST, and I had, like, Iron Wall Emptiness Reload Reload, and it was like, oh, my God, like, fuck those cards. But, uh, anyway, I I thought it was good practice. Hopefully my explanations were helpful, and I will see you guys later. Bye.